All right, so here I have the image of the camera that's there on my balcony. I see it right now, the live view, and I can also check how much bandwidth the camera is using right now. And here on history, I can check what's recorded into my SD card. I have the option to record into SD card and also into the cloud. Right now, when I click history, it's going to bring what's recorded into my SD card because I don't have the cloud plan yet. I could have because this is a good option to have redundancy, right? If something happens to your camera, somebody grabs your camera, you still have recordings into the cloud. So basically this is image from yesterday. So I can check here when I have recordings, right? And then I keep going. You see there is nothing recording there because there is no motion. That's good because you can go directly to the part where you can see motion. So basically if you have a person moving in front of your camera, you can find it easily like that, right? Let me just come back here because I don't have a recording at night and here have some, right? You see here some marks that indicates the recording from yesterday. So here I was installing the camera back there and here I was preparing everything for recording. So basically I can just check here on history what's recorded there and I can also press record here to export this into the album here so when I check here album I have my things that I exported from the recording for example I have some recordings on the dark you see the camera works pretty well in the dark I was just testing you see when you see color here it's because Either the camera is working with the light that's available here or the camera can turn on the lights. You have here some lights that the camera can turn on. Then I see with the light, with the light and color. That's why it's called color high night vision, right? Because I still can see color. Or if the camera uses the infrared, so I see everything in black and white, which is different. So basically that's a recording from yesterday. I was just testing. It works pretty well. Okay, and also here, I was testing on my kitchen, the same principle. Okay, you can record everything every time there's motion. So let me just come back here to the menu. So you see that I have also here more options when I go live here, for example, into the camera. I have the option for take a screenshot and also for the intercom. So I can basically click here and talk in my cell phone, somebody close to the camera can listen to this because there's a speaker there or somebody that speaks close to the camera I can hear here on my cell phone. Also, the camera indicates here the recording quality, standard definition, for example, or you can have QHD. So it's up to you to select the quality that you want. And here have siren, so you can enable and disable the siren there. So basically here, I can hear this siren now. It's playing there. Then I can stop it again. I can turn on and turn off the lights there in the camera. Pretty easy like this. Enable motion detection, everybody. Every time there's somebody in front of the camera, the camera detects and starts recording. And here I have an extra page so you can control wall the warning, full color mode, and also the album. Okay, so pretty easy to use here on the setup. You have a lot of options. Here the signal strength so I can have an idea that the camera is working at 100% closer to, it's pretty closer to my router. Also here the time zone, you can also check and receive alerts. Uh, here have alarm management. So you can adjust sensitivity, power saving modes and other things here, just some adjustments. Image settings as well, you can flip the image. You can work with the night vision, intelligent or full color and black white night vision. So basically the setup for image in general, right? And device share, you can share with your family if you want to. And here, something also interesting, the installation guide. So everything of detail here about the installation, the sensor angles and everything else. And also the signal, right now it's a strong signal because it's closed to my router. You can enable or disable the work indicator, adjust time, sound and settings. Here you can adjust the speaker volume. Also enable or disable the, the microphone and the speaker. Okay, record voice as well. I'm recording voice right now there when I, I'm using my camera. Video encryption, so keep the data safe. Uh, 
analytics, AI analytics, if you buy the plan, you can also have some extra analytics like people, pet, car, package. So pretty good. Battery management. Here my battery is 83%. It lasts a long time, the battery, because you have like uh, the camera only working when somebody is close to the camera. So you have the battery lasting a long time there. And here, recording management, you can format your SD card, check the SD card capacity and things like that. And also the cloud storage service, if you enable, if you buy the plan, you can have the basic one or the premium one, which is pretty good, okay? And here you can contact the manufacturer and also check the camera's firmware version, right? I'm using the latest version right now. You can also restart and delete the device from here. And come back here to the main screen when I see live image, right? So overall, this camera is very good, very simple to use. And you can install outdoors, for example, and because here it's prepared to, to work indoor and outdoor, okay? And every time somebody's close to the camera, the camera starts recording and you have the recording here in the SD card, pretty easy to install as well. And it's a good product, okay? So I like this one and I recommend it.